just in moving that embassy because now my president is respected because he keeps his word and he isn't frightened by terrorists. My prior president was frightened by terrorists or didn't care. And so I think we're going to see a real, I think we're going to see a lot of things flow from that. I can't imagine what they all are, but I think they're going to be very, very significant. But that doesn't answer the critical question. I know how to fight terrorism, and I'm not afraid of them. And so do all the people I just mentioned. But taking care of the victims, well, they live with it every day of their lives. When I went to funerals after 9-11, I would look at the little children, and I knew I had raised a lot of money for them, and I knew they were going to go to college, and I knew they were going to be economically supported, but I also knew there's no way to make up for the loss of a father for all your life. And uh, so that's where money doesn't help. It helps, but caring and love helps. Knowing that there are people like you that care about them, believe me, that gets them through it, and it makes them whole. And that's why they understand that their family is not just their genetic family, it's uh, the whole family. And for doing that, I think uh, you'll be rewarded in a wonderful way by the same God that we all worship. So I would love to take some questions about that or anything you'd like to ask about, including the New York Yankees.